AppMaker provides a variety of productivity tools that can help you create banner images, grid images, place store and app store assets, and a lot more. Let me show you how you can use these AppMaker tools to your advantage for your app. With the ongoing coronavirus season, we have introduced a tool named Notice Emit COVID. So what you can do is you can put up a banner in your app if you are temporarily closing down, um, taking orders from your app and your website. So what you can do is just put in a main title, say, for example, we will be back soon, uh, put in the date of reopening and it will automatically reflect on this banner and then download this image and put it up in your website and in your app. If you want to choose another template, you can do that as well, say temporarily halted, or if you want to change the text, you can do that as well. Say, we will be back soon. And this is how on the right side of your screen, you can see that will be displayed in your banner. You can choose a background color as per your wish, and then again, download the image and then put it up in your app and website. However, if you are not closing down, but you want to make your users aware about the measures that they should take during this period, you can take this logo, put in your uh, store logo here by choosing this file and uploading your store logo and then download the image where there are a couple of instructions on how to take care of themselves during this period and you can put it up again in your app and your website. Another tool is on how to make banners. So if you're looking for templates where you can get an easy to go and a, a, a very easy template for your app, you can choose this. So what you have to do is just upload a background image, which we'll showcase here put in a main title, a very catchy title or an attractive title that would catch your users in trust, a subtitle if you want, and then a call to action button, wherein when the user clicks, it takes them to the desired place. And then you can just download the image. However, if you do not like this sort of banner and want to choose another template, you can go for that as well, where you have a transparent button and you can just choose the background image like the previous one put in a main title choose a call to action button and then change the color of the text as per your demand however if you do not want any background and want to just go for a very plain color you can do that as well another is how to make grid images you have templates for that as well using the app maker tools all you have to do is either go for a template where you want an, an image a background image which you can upload and then a main title or you have other options as well wherein you want to put in a logo and have a background color for it in this case there's a circle which is white in color or if you do not want any background color but just a plain icon with a background overall color you can do that as well and you can finally download this image and then put it in your app to show various categories using the grid images another is play store assets wherein when you are going to publish your app or have already published your app your users will download the app depending on the type of screenshots that you put there. So the first impression of your users will be determined based on the screenshots of the app that you have uploaded in the Play Store and the App Store. And this is a very cool template for you to create easy screenshots for your app to put up in the Play Store and the App Store. So Firstly, to get a high resolution logo, just upload your logo file and choose the background color if you want. That is in this case, there's a white background color, but uh, that totally depends upon the kind of background color that you want. 
And if you want, you can remove the space around and just let the logo be and then finally download the image. For the rest of the screenshots, you can determine and define what sort of screenshot you want. So say, for example, there's a login page and you want to put in a title here, say login page. You can do that. But if you want the text to be in at the bottom of the screenshot, there's an option for that as well. If you want to show different screenshots at the same time, you can do that. If you want to put in the logo of your store, you can also choose the file and the screenshot and put in a background color if you want and then download those images. If you want it to be completely plain, you can choose your screenshot to be that as well with a background if you need but if not you can just leave it blank and you can put up a banner with your screenshot saying say for example the best online store so you have a couple of options for that with a main title a subtitle a screenshot image the logo of your store a background color and a primary color and then you can finally download the image it's a very cool template to get easy to go screenshots without any design or edit whatsoever. We also provide App Store assets where you can create screenshots for your App Store ranging from iPhone X to iPhone 6S to iPad and iPad Pro. So you can get a lot many options on how you want your feature to look like be it plain with your logo with um, a title text on top or at the bottom of the screenshot and so on with finally a high resolution logo to be put up in the app store finally we provide app maker assets as well now this is a really cool feature where you can create an app icon for your store and you can just put up your logo, decide a background color, corner the radius however you want, like this. And then finally just download the image. Second is a drawer header image where when your user clicks on the menu, they can see the logo there. You can choose your logo, decide a background color and then download an image. We also provide a splash screen logo template where the user, when he opens the app, the first splash screen can be of the logo that you want or any image for that matter and choose a background color and then download the image. There's a login page logo wherein when the user wants to log in and they go to the login page, they can see the logo of your store. And finally, there's a push notification icon where when if you send a push notification to your customers they will see this logo on their notification bar on their mobile screens so these are a couple of pretty cool templates that app maker provides to everybody do try it out and let us know in your comment section